Hey, it's me again with another little video. Um, basically, I've got a little package which I think is, a, is free comics. So what it is, I, I watch TV, uh, videos at night of like other people's comic collections and I get a bit antsy in the middle of the night. I think, oh, comics, new comics. I've stopped buying comics now. Like back, back in 2013, I stopped buying new comics. But I'm just getting this bug now. I'm going through my old comics. I'm thinking, Ugh. And I'm looking at all these people's awesomely brilliant old Silver Age and Golden Age and whatever comics. And I just bought this randomer. It's, to be honest, it's probably a complete rip-off. I'm, I'm, I'm really sure it's a bit of a rip-off, really. What it is, it's going on, and, um, I think a lot, a lot of people are doing it now. They're like doing batches, so you'll get so many comics, and there's, amongst this big batch of comics, we've got lots of, there's a few, like, real cool, you know, worth money books in there. But you may just get three crap books, or you may be lucky and get one of these, uh, one of these good books. I don't think I'm going to be lucky, but it was just like, oh, sorry, it was like, just over a ten, and I thought, oh, God. It'd probably be a complete waste of money, but I thought, I just wanted to, <laughs> I just could have thought I'd take a gamble. So I've ordered one of these packs of uh, free comics, and let's just see what it is that's inside. It's probably going to be rubbish. It might even be stuff I've already got, but uh, we'll just see, shall we? All right, nice little tear bit here to get it open. I think they're bagged and boarded. Yeah, they're bagged and boarded. Uh, but I say, I highly, I do not expect there to be anything worthwhile in this package. It was just a mad whim that I had, and I was just like, oh, let's just take a gamble, looking at these nice Silver Age books that were possible of being won, but uh, I highly doubt that I would have won anything cool. Oh, uh, sellotape needs to be cut. Let me get a pair of scissors. Right, let's get a pair of scissors, see if there's anything worth looking at in this collection. I highly doubt it. Got a little, oh, right, it's gonna be rubbish. Oh, actually, that didn't look too bad, that first one, just to just have a look at it. I'm gonna get this properly of a cut in the stinking. Okay, that's not too bad. I quite like that for the first one. I don't know if you can see that yet. Uh, see if I can get a good picture of it. It's hard with this blinking camera. All right, giant size Spider Man and Doc Savage. 50 cent book, I've no idea what that is, see, uh, one of the things you discover with uh, my videos, I really, uh, other than buying comics and loving comics and loving the characters, I don't know all the blinking phrases, I'm kind of learning a bit now, I don't know any of the, um, what they call them, key issues, uh, I think a grail book is one that you're really looking forward to getting, like the holy grail kind of thing I'm imagining, uh, for me at the moment, that's uh, Captain America 117, because it's got the first appearance of Falcon in it, and he happened to have been come out exactly the same time I was born. So September 1969, he came out, and that's when I was born, and that's why I think that's my grail book at the moment, I'd like to get hold of that. Uh, also Vampirella number one, maybe, because she also came out the same time that I was born. But those quite expensive books, so uh, ones I'm saving up for and uh, working towards, shall we say. Right now, this one's got a little bit of a bobble there on the cover, uh, as you can see there. Tiny little bubble there. The rest of the spine looks pretty cool. Marvel comic. I'm not sure what era it is. Giant size Spider Man. It looks 50 cents. It looks, I don't know, 70s, maybe early 80s. I'm not too sure. I quite like that anyway. It's not worth the, <laughs> the money probably I've paid for it. At least I, I doubt it is, but right, let's see what else we've got. Okay, that looks pretty old as well. This looks very old actually. Uh, nothing, the condition is not brilliant. The spine is a little bit uh, worn. Uh, Menace of the Scorpion, Black Hawk. That's, they're quite an old team, aren't they, the Black Hawks? They were the, uh, what's his, Pavel or something? Black Hawk was a Polish pilot uh, based in America, I assume. It looks very thin, though, the book. If I know it's a, if it's a full book, I must say it's got to be a full book. March 146, this is. When did the Black Hawk start off? 60s? And so that would make this a 70s book, wouldn't it? I think they started in the maybe they started earlier than the 60s. The artwork kind of uh, suggests to me an earlier age. Oh, I quite like that. That's nice, actually. It might have been might have been a, a worthy buy. Of this I'll have to look these up and uh, see what I can discover. Right, and this one here, Marvel Comics Rebel. It says at the front. What's it say behind the Rebel? A <sighs> head cases. I don't know. Head something or whatever. Can't really make out what that says. That looks like a new book, anyway. That was like a fairly new book. Uh, yeah, interesting. Can't say I've ever heard of it. Uh, does it got a date on there? I can't see a date. $1.99 uh, cover price, so that's pretty, I don't know, 90s? Oh, is that a signature there as well? Holy crap. 
some kind of signature there. Right, there's someone over here, the, the writer, somebody Kelly, and that looks like a signature of somebody Kelly. Uh, I've no idea who they are. I've not heard, yeah, it says on the top there, signed actually. Oh, oh, let's go get it out and think it's the same. In. So that's, that's quite a few of that actually. I'm quite shocked. They look like fairly old comics. That one says sign, I don't know the person who signed it, but um, yeah, it's cool anyway. It's nice to have a book sign. I'm assuming it's, <laughs> assuming it's by the actual person who wrote it, not just somebody pretending to be there and signing it. Who knows of these things. And uh, that Blackhawk one, that looks really nice. That looks, that looks old, it just, it just looks like, I mean, it may not be, I don't think the Blackhawks are that, um, they're not hugely popular. There was talk of a movie though, wasn't it? Is it not gonna be a movie? Stephen King directed movie. I'm sure I remember hearing that, which may mean, you know, it could, uh, I don't think, I suppose it's a, what do you call it, a, um, uh, key book, I don't suppose anyone's, anyone's like, first appeared in this issue or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I like that anyway, it just looks nice, looks interesting. I like that, and this one, yeah. Doc Savage I'm not overly familiar with. Is he not like a pulp character, Doc Savage? Uh, but if that's him, he doesn't, looks a bit different to what I expected. Yeah, I think he's a pulp, an old pulp hero, Doc Savage. Right, I was been telling people about, about my Grail book that I'm after. It's uh, the first appearance of Falcon in Captain America 117 from September 1969. So, as far as I'm concerned, Falcon shares his birthday with me because we're both born in the same month and the same year. So, that's what I'm working towards. My 50th birthday in just under a year's time, I am plan to be having that book for my 50th birthday. So, at the moment, I've got a fridge magnet. <laughs> but soon I'll have that comic. Not in a very good grade, because I'm not worried too much about grades, as long as I've got the book. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of looking for Vampirella number one as well, which is worth even more, like 400, 800 pounds I see it going for. But anyway, let's have a, a better look at these um, comics that I got in that, like a uh, grab bag that I was talking about. And so it's only, it was 13 pound 99 or something like that, but it's a bit of a silly price for not knowing what you're gonna get and for just free comics but the idea was there was going to be like possibility of getting like a good comic amongst the uh, what would probably be uh, dross but I was quite happy with what I got actually I've had a look at this Hulk, uh, Black Hawk uh, from 1960 I think that officially makes this the oldest comic that I own I, have, I don't have any older comics than this uh, the, the birthday books that I've been buying that were sort of come out on my birthday were the oldest ones you can see it's not in brilliant condition I'm not sure how well you can. Oh dear, my, uh, how you set well you can see the spine there, looking a bit ticked, looking very, very worn along the spine. Uh, the pages feel a little bit loose in the in the thing. But say I'm not. I'm yeah. I'm, I'm I'm stoked actually. I'm quite happy with that. From 1969, years before I was born. So you see the little bit like a bit of a tear there by the looks of it by that by that part of the spine there just by the cover, like where it's connected. Looks like it's got its uh, danger of coming loose. I'm really scared about damaging it actually because, yeah, I had a mishap with one of my birthday books where I accidentally scuffed the cover. I managed to catch the sellotape on it and uh, yeah, needless to say, I was really upset. But this is really interesting to me anyway because I've not seen comic inside pages like that. I don't know if you can actually see it very well. Let's move the camera. Well, you've got like a, a long border I can't zoom out anymore, I don't think. Let's just have the camera up. So you've got a long border, see at the top of the page, you've got quite a tall border at the top of the page. I've not seen that before in a book, so yeah, I was quite surprised with that. <laughs> and I suppose that's what they all looked like at the time. But yeah, the, 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 the book does seem like it's got a little bit of give at the spine, so I've got to be very careful with it. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. Cool stuff. Different paper stock, very, very, um, probably very poor paper stock. I should think they didn't wasn't so bothered about you know good thickness of paper and whatever. You can see the, the staples at the back there looking a little bit, a little bit loose around their staples. But yeah, so 1960. Uh, I had a look on eBay. I can't remember what it was now, but they were they were they weren't going cheap. Maybe probably in better condition than that, but. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm not, I'm not sure that might even be worth the thirteen pound that I paid for them all on its own. I'm not too sure. Probably not, but I'm happy anyway because it's a, a book that I've not seen before. It's got some kind of I don't know if it's some kind of code or something like that. Some if it's any kind of 
I don't know if that's a code that anyone would recognise. It's written signature sign on top of one of them, and it has got sign. But this looks like it says S18, or it could have been SIG, but I can't see because there's no signature on it, so it's not SIG. But yeah, I don't know if that actually meant anything at all. It's not the number because it's number 146. Uh, if anyone's got any idea what that means, possibly it says SI8 or something, SI9 even. But yeah, if anyone knows what that means, let me know. Uh, well, this is the one that is the oldest of the of the lot. You say youngest of the lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a signed one. Uh, I think his name was Jim Kelly. I looked it up. Jim Kelly did this book. It's um, Heroes Reborn Rebel. Not a character I can say I've ever heard of, to be honest. Uh, but it's signed. Uh, it's in pretty good nick. I think this was going, I mean, I think it unsigned it was going for, uh, I don't know. I can't remember what it was. I saw it on eBay now. I had a quick look though, and it was like, yeah, it obviously it wasn't masses. But with a signed copy, I don't know if the Jim Kelly is popular at all. Probably, I've not heard of him. I don't know if having a signed copy of the book would be uh, any good. Uh, I had a read, and it said there's got some else's in this book. I'm sure there was an, oh, like a more popular character in this book. Uh, I've not heard of this guy, Rebel. Let's have a look, so I can see who else is in it. I'm sure I remember reading it had a, a, a better known character in there, but I can't for life remember who it was now. But yeah, that's sort of a white book. I've sh and like I'm sure like with signature, I mean no matter if uh, the guy is well known or not, it's got to be worth I don't know five pound or something maybe. Pretty good nick, but I don't know though. So I really I really never really bothered uh, collecting for for um, knowing values of things or particularly caring about values of things. I just wanted to have the books, read the books, read the stories. So when it comes to keys and that kind of thing, I, I haven't got a clue. I've learned more in the last couple of months of watching other people's videos about keys and stuff uh, than I've ever known before. I think I've got some keys, uh, obviously from the years of collecting, but uh, I, I, until I start going for my comics more, I won't be able to identify them. But anyway, this is the other one I got, uh, Giant Size uh, Spider-Man and Doc Savage number 3. Shame it's not number 4, because that's worth about 100 quid I think I saw. People were selling it for 100 quid, because I think it's like a third um, appearance of um, The Punisher, I think it was. Uh, but this is Doc Savage. I can't remember what year it was actually, let's have a look inside. Oh, this one, I wasn't too sure about the condition of the inside of it actually. I had a look at it, because I, I, I thought it looked quite nice. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, Evil Knievel, who remembers them toys? So that's got to make it the 70s there, hasn't it? If it's got Evil Knievel inside it uh, on the thing. Let's see if I can find the date of it. Um, 1974, so that's quite an old book, actually. That's pretty decent. I'm quite I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah. But what, one thing I was worrying, wondering about, though, it looked to me like those staples there surely that's not how the staples are meant to be in the book I reckon like the glue has come away the the paper has come away from the spine or something and they've stapled it in or something like that I really cannot say but those staples to me I'm not sure if you can see it very well in the camera those staples to me do not look to be in a natural position so I'm thinking that's been stapled back into the uh, page so to speak but uh, you know never mind uh, I'm still happy with it anyway, so three, three new comics for me, uh, yeah, and i never had any of them before, uh, so one of them is the oldest comic I've ever owned, another one is signed, I've never had a signed comic before, and uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy. Well, there's another little code up the top here, and that's a code for the, it, says, it looks like it says bro to me, bro, does that mean anything, bro? And this one, because the reason I'm asking, because this one here says signed at the top, and there is a signature. This uh, Joe Kelly chap, assuming it's a chap, not a Joanne Kelly. So this one looks like it says bro on the top, so I don't know if that means anything. And this one looks like I said S18 on the top maybe. No idea if that means anything at all. If anybody knows any more, let me know. Anyway, so that's three books. Three books, well, I think it was £13 I paid for it. And um, I've got to say, probably, uh, I don't know, I feel quite lucky actually. I feel quite happy with those books for 13 quid. It was just a random thing. They may be absolutely useless and were absolutely sod all, but yeah, whatever. <laughs> it was a fun little thing to do just to spend, you know, just something when I was late at night going through eBay. And I just saw it, I thought, oh, let's, let's have a gamble. But yeah, I'm quite happy with those three books. Interesting. Anyway, cheers for watching. I'll be back with some more comic videos in the future.